In this video, we're going to be unboxing, reviewing, and discussing the Atari Flashback X from At Games. Surprisingly, I'm going to give you a spoiler. It's pretty good. Stay tuned. Welcome to his hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Today I just want to do an unboxing and review of the Atari Flashback X. This is a pretty sweet looking console. I popped the box open, but I have not tested it yet, so I'm going to test it for this video for the first time. But basically you can see the artwork's pretty solid on the box. Um, they're getting 110 games, two wired controllers, uh, the power adapter, no HDMI cable, but most of us have those around. I'd rather have the power cable than the HDMI cable, to be honest. Uh, but we have a bunch of games on here. I'll just scroll through a little bit there. And let's pop it open and see what's inside. So, we'll open her up. And we get this little manual. Not a whole lot to it. I mean, it basically tells you how to play and what to do. And then on the flip side, we are going to have a list of games. Not too bad there. And you can see we get the console itself. Most people wait to do the console, but I'm going to show you this first because I think it looks really good. So the only downside to me is I would have liked to have a sixth switch right here. Um, I was thinking about if I could find something that looks the same, just glue it on. It doesn't have to do anything. Uh, I was also thinking because to mod these to add games, you have to open this up. And uh, there's a recovery button inside. So what I was thinking was maybe I could get something here to look like this that would get to that recovery button for me if I ever need to upgrade or whatever for my firmware and then I wouldn't have to open it anymore so that's a thought but I just got this thing so I'm not uh, I'm not there yet but you can see the Atari Flashback X and I actually got this because I watched Patton Plays video and I'm actually going to link to that in the description Patton Plays has an awesome channel and he's already got a video out there on how to mod this, uh, as well as he's done an unboxing and review. Um, but I'll set that off to the side here. And then I really want to take a look at these controllers. So in the bottom right of the controller, you can see right now I have player two. Um, cord length looks pretty good. I think it's about six feet. And they feel, they feel pretty good. Um, even... They're a little bit light, but not crazy light. Pretty, pretty good. I'm, I'm not a big fan of any at games things that I've had in the past, um, but from Patton's video, this seems pretty cool. He seemed legit, and uh, he's one of those guys that I trust. So I was like, you know what? That looks neat. Uh, you can see here. So we have a menu button. Select start setting. Uh, sorry, rewind. And this is on the player one controller. So pretty cool there. And then lastly, we just have our micro USB power adapter. So I'm going to get into some gameplay. I just want to check nothing underneath. All right. I'll just push this off to the side here. Show you guys everything and the power adapter and we have the instruction manual so basically I wanted to do this video because these are on clearance in Canada is the only place I could find this was Bed Bath & Beyond so this was regular $79.99 on for $39.99 so I got it for half price I think 40 bucks for this with 110 games that can be modded and you get two controllers that's a pretty sweet deal I'm going to go into further testing of games and then we can take it from there. So here we are in the main menu. I don't have a capture card, so I, I do got to do this kind of guerrilla style. I wanted to have the console in the bottom left there and then show you guys the main menu. And I have tested this behind the scenes, um, 
but let's go ahead and go through the games list. I'm not going to name them all. I'll just flip through. There's 11 pages. we got 110 games with the ability to add more. So the way that you do the mod for this system is you will need to open it to get to the recovery button. And you will need an OTG adapter as well as a USB thumb drive. So that's all of them there. And then if we go up and over, we have recently played. Um, you can add favorites if you so choose. And then you have your Atari games. If you have paddles, then you can do paddle games and go from there. Um, your settings, so whichever bezel you want to choose. Um, and there's a couple pages, I think, of bezels. If I go over here. So there's this one as well. I'm actually going to choose that one. It looks pretty nice. Uh, you can turn off the background music, mess with your save state management, and all that good stuff. So pretty, pretty simplistic front end. It doesn't look bad. It does function fairly well. I do want to mention a few small points about the system itself. So the controller right now in my hand feels somewhat light, but not crazy light. It feels okay. Um, it'll actually be good for my kids to play if they're holding it, or you can put it on the table. It's got little rubber feet. Um, the controller cord length, I thought it was six feet. It's roughly around five feet, so be mindful of that, um, which is not an issue. I just wanted to clarify that for people. The system itself looks amazing. The fact that you can mod it is amazing. Um, it's going to go great with the rest of my mini classics. Um, I do want to say that all of the connectors in the back, which is where your controller ports are, your power port, and your HDMI port, the controllers fit in nice and snug. So when you plug them in, you don't have to worry about them falling out. It's a nice, snug connection. And I know that seems like a little thing, but that's a big thing for me. I don't want it getting yanked out easily or just falling out and just feeling cheap and loose. So definitely uh, I'll tip my hat to App Games for, for this particular console so far. Um, I'm not a huge, you know, person that's into Atari games. I started with NES, so this is this is kind of new to me. But there's a lot of games on here that I like other versions of, as far as like Frogger, Space Invaders, and things like that. So I'm going to play the game. All right. So I think. I wouldn't pay, and I'm in Canada, so it was 80 bucks Canadian was their original list price at Bed Bath & Beyond, which is where I could find it. Um, I, I wouldn't pay anywhere near that. And just, there's no way. So 40 bucks, it's a pretty solid deal. Um, this does not feel as good a quality as like an NES Classic or anything like that. Uh, but it's not horrendous, it's just not that good. Ah! But uh, I'll end it there. So if I hit the menu button, if you're in game, you have the scan line filter, which I have on. I can turn it off and resume my game. And then I'll show you again just quickly. There's on. So it still looks pretty good. Their scan line filter looks good. Would I buy this? Like I said, at a discounted price? Yes. At MSRP? No. I don't think it's worth um, full asking price, at least 80 bucks Canadian, no way. 40 bucks Canadian, which is what, like eight bucks US? <laughs> no, it's not that bad, but I think it's totally worth it for that price. Um, you're getting two controllers, you're getting a good console, and it's you can mod it, you can add games. Yes, you gotta do it through OTG, but hey, maybe there'll be an internal mod at some point, but as of right now, that's the only way. So I'm not complaining, I think this is a cool system for 40 bucks. Let me know in the comments if you have this one. There's even a deluxe one with 120 games. I couldn't find that in Canada. But let me know what you think if you have it. Any more questions that I haven't covered in this video, feel free to ask down in the comments below. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. But most importantly, have a good day.